Um, in the meantime, lightening things up a little bit, we've got big news for Cardi B. She is starring in Pepsi's coveted Super Bowl commercial. A source tells us she has recently filmed it and will get to see it debut during the game on February 3rd. Now, this puts Cardi in the league of elite celebrity endorsers like Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, and Cindy Crawford. So. Is Cardi taking it to the next level? I feel like we're always having this conversation with her, but the wins just keep on coming. It's interesting to me that she's doing the Super Bowl commercial because we know that she has actually sounded off about the NFL before yeah. in the past. Yeah. So I wonder, is this kind of like uh, a way of getting around it, but still being able to get acquainted, Tell still having today. that visibility during the Super Bowl? That's but should it not count, though? Interesting. Because I mean, that does have count. the same little hundred percent counts. And to me, it's still the same platform. It's still the shine. Right. And there's still an association with the network, but it's very, it's very slow slick to me that it would be kind of in that same area. No. I agree. When you get the check from the from the Super Bowl, you almost have to pay extra money to do your thing. Like when the Super Bowl comes to you and they say, we're going to pay you half a million dollars, they don't give you an extra budget on top of that for your production. So you're setting up the stage and everything else. Right. When she looked at the cost analysis of doing the Super Bowl, she yeah. was going to pay money. But, but then it's not about the money. money. It's not about the losses. It's about the, the, it's it's about the about PR morals. opportunity. She decided uh, not to do the Super Bowl halftime show uh, because of the Colin Kaepernick thing. If yeah. Rihanna and hadn't and passed so it up, she would have done it. taking money anyway to do a commercial is actually like kind of going back against her right. Because you're still models. maximizing on this moment, this zeitgeist, this thing that's going to happen in right. America that yeah. everyone's either watching or not watching it's for very affiliated. specific reasons. Totally. So you're capitalizing even during the advertisement space or the commercial block. Which contributes to the ratings as well. Mm -hmm. So if there's that spike or whatever, she's contributing to totally the profits agree. of the NFL. But would I you agree. feel better if she said that she was taking some of that cash and donating it right back to where Travis Scott was doing it? Right. Well, it's not about me feeling better. It's just that you set a precedent for something that you spoke out against. So to do the Super Bowl commercial, you wonder if, you'll, you'll is, is this still, isn't this still associated? Have really you hurting. never spoken too quick? Me? She never. Speak. Yeah. What? Girl, please. <laughs> you know, she was like, I'm not doing this out of principle. And they were like, we're going to give you 10 million. Like, oh, well, I'm going to do this. <laughs> well, maybe donate a portion of it. You know, I think that would at I'd least help. Although, you know, we've heard from uh, Colin Kaepernick's girlfriend, who's been very vocal about this situation. And she basically feels that anybody that's associated with it is not on their side. That's it for today's Daily Pop, but don't worry, we do it every day. That's right, and be sure to click below to subscribe to our E! News YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Whether it's tackling breaking Hollywood headlines or amazing celebrity in-studio interviews, Daily Pop on YouTube will keep you pop cultured. See you soon.